shouted Salty. Welcome, Murdoch, called Harvey. You're the biggest engine I've ever seen, cried Thomas. You're a chatty lot, Murdoch said quietly. Murdoch was one of many new characters introduced in Season 7 of Thomas and Friends. I wouldn't necessarily say my favorite, that would have to go to Salty or Harvey, but he's definitely a close second. And though there's not a lot to him, just like the other characters his model does have a bit of history to it, and today we're going to get into that. But Murdoch is a little different from the other characters, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Most characters in Thomas and Friends were created by the Reverend W. Audrey. Murdoch, however, would be made by Paul Larson and Robert Gauld Galliers. In 2003, Murdoch would make his first debut, again in Season 7 of Thomas and Friends, this being in the episode Peace and Quiet, and he would later appear in the 8th, 11th, and 12th seasons. After being absent for about two years, Murdoch would return to the series in 2007. But the next year, in 2008, Murdoch would take another leave and hasn't appeared since. Now, before we get into his models, I think we should take a look at his concept art, because honestly, I find it kind of interesting. In this, we can see that originally, he was going to be maroon red with chrome yellow linings. He also appears to have a double chimney, which were fitted on 9Fs built from 1958 onwards. Because Arthur was already a maroon red, Murdoch's entire livery was changed, this being to orange with green and red lining, so he and Arthur's color schemes wouldn't clash with each other. I also find his basis of a BR standard Class 9F a lot more exemplified in this concept art. In terms of Murdoch's Gage 1 model, the story's kind of the same. The model was scratch built to run on Gage 1 track, and was built from brass being painted in a matte finish. Murdoch would have 10 different facial expressions sculpted for him, but only 7 were ever used on screen, and 3 of which, which were his shocked, wincing, and sleeping faces, were left completely unused. The faces were sculpted in clay, and from that resin casts were made using a silicone mold. He also had a familiar eye mechanism that worked with two servos, one for up and down movement and one for left and right movement. But an extra little tidbit that I found interesting is the controller used for Murdoch's eyes was later shared with Stanley, presumably because they only had so many. Season 12 is personally a season I look down upon. It marked the beginning of the show's transition into CGI, and from here on out, the faces of the models themselves would be, well, CGI. The actual faces would be replaced with target sheets, and Murdoch's resin faces were only used in background shots. What I find interesting is Murdoch's model was previously displayed at Nitrogen Studios in Canada, minus its face. It actually wore its target marker, as you can see here. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if the model is still there or if it's been moved, or if it has a face or not right now. There's just not really a lot behind Murdoch. But he did have another model, that being his close-up model. This was required for several close-up shots in the episode Peace and Quiet, where he had to interact with close-up scale figures. Like most close-up models, Murdoch's model was not complete, and only the cab and a tinder were built. This model was later repainted and reused for Spencer's close-up model in the 8th series, which we saw in Edward the Great. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up Murdoch's history. He's not an Audrey character, so there's not really a lot behind him. And unfortunately for the show, he only ever had two models built. He was never really brought into the CGI series, but still very much exists not only through classic episodes, but through fan recognition. And it's understandable why. He's very unique. There are other engines who like peace and quiet, but that's just kind of his thing. And that coupled with being one of the strongest steam locomotives on the entire island, to me is just an interesting dynamic. And I don't think I'm the only one who thinks that. I mean, he wouldn't have won the poll if not. So while there's not a lot to it, hopefully you guys still enjoyed figuring out the history of Murdoch. And as always, thank you guys again for watching. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe for even more train content. There's always more stuff on the way. And if there's any character, prop, or location you guys would like to see next, anything really model series, be sure to let me know down in the comments, and I'll do my best to add it to the next poll. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. That evening, Murdoch parked between Harvey and Salty, but Murdoch spoke first. I'm sorry that I was cross, he chuffed. I'm very pleased to share a shed with you. And we're pleased to have your company, said Harvey.